Welcome in. Welcome to the Old Salem Apothecary where we got potions, tonics, spells, as well as psychic stuff. And today we're having a special And so I don't have as many gifts as I as I had previously, but I, I do have more things for you. Yeah. I was just thinking that we should continue on the journey of love and goodness and positive things. And so that's the kind of stuff I make for you this time. And so first, I do need to say, if you hear anything from anyone named Daddy who needs some potions for her potion shop, well, just tell her that I'm dead. Because she'll never get them. She can pull my potions from her cold, dead hooves. I don't think how that that's how that saying is supposed to go. My cold bed hoops? Something like that. Anyway, um, so we need to cleanse the space because we're trying to be positive and as usual there are things watching. And we need to get rid of them. So we're gonna do that and it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be a good time, so doing this part, pluck, flick, because it really lets me pluck, flick, realize how much bad juju that you personally bring into my space, so, pluck, flick, pluck, flick, pluck, flick, pluck, flick, That ends up being something important. Probably have 
have to work together at some point and make some sort of thing to fight off my enemies. But for now, I guess we'll just keep focusing on you because I guess that's just it's okay, it's okay. what we do. You know, I've just been really weird when I'm cursed. I actually have no problem with pork, like, you know, anything. I like giving you gifts and I like helping you because you're wonderful. What? Like, I'm just cursed. And being cursed sort of messes with my mood. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Pork, flick, pork, flick. probably like a million billion times and I've always survived and I'm completely fine and I've never ever in my entire life ever been weird or strange I'm completely normal so you can tell that none of the curses have gotten to me so it's all gonna be okay so do you want to see your gifts? okay it's a boat. It smells so good. Candy, it smells like candy. Candy boat. Candy boat. Candy boat. It's a love boat. You see? There's a heart. It smells so good. So what you do is if you ever find yourself in a specific situation where you know that you love someone and you know that they love you back, but for some reason neither of you are making a move. Then you just throw this in a body of water that you both are in front of. And then while they're watching it, by the time it's done screwing around on the water, they're gonna realize that they have nothing to be afraid of. And they'll if they're in love with you, they won't be afraid. And I'll let you know. And no one named Brenda can get in the way of your true love. Okay? So, yeah. So, do you, do you like it? Love boat? Well, thank you. I thought it was a pretty, pretty good idea myself. So, I'm glad that you're appreciative of the love boat. Yeah. Do you, do you want to see? I got a few other things for you. You want to you wanna see? Okay. So, listen. I know that when it comes to love and self-love, sometimes our bodies sort of get involved and sometimes people are attracted to certain kinds of bodies and sometimes people want to look a certain way and that's why I've made this thing, which is the ultimate body. And you might think that this is saying the best body is a headless, armless, and legless or so, but that's just because I accidentally broke all the other pieces off, but trust me, it's much easier to use like this. It also has a booty, but I can't show you the booty because people are watching. People who make the decisions about what there is to be seen. But I'll, I'll show you the booty later. This booty, right here. Anyway, it smells good. You're gonna rub it on your skin. You're gonna get all nice and soft. And then, when you're done, you're gonna love your body and be confident and comfortable in it, just as it is. And, cause, cause the most important thing about finding a new relationship is self-love. Self-love. 
So, what do you think? Yeah, it's pretty cute. I'm okay. Do you want to see? I have just a few other things, but I feel like you might still like them. Okay. <laughs> Smells so good. So this is something really, 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 really cool. And what happens is you wash your body with this, right? Like lather, lather, lather. Lather, lather, lather. Lather, lather, lather. And then when you're done, you're gonna go up to your crush. You're gonna go up to your crush. Crush. And you're gonna ask them, hey, do I smell like peaches? And if they say yes, then they like you back. And if they say no, unfortunately, it's not their noses that are broken. It's that they, they're they not their crush, but don't worry. Their nose will be broken. Soon. Very soon. So, anyway, yeah. Peaches. What do you think? Because I thought that I do a lot of water-based magic and I just feel like <sighs> bubbles are fun lather peachy peachy peach what do you think? okay you're right it's an amazing idea and I'm glad that you recognize my talents <laughs> so anyway, I just have like a couple more is that okay? okay this is unicorn glitter, and you get to use it by rubbing it on your lips, and it turns you into a unicorn. Because sometimes love sucks, and you just need to turn into a unicorn, and if anyone breaks your heart, you can just stab them with your horn. So I thought that that was an option to make. Do you like it? Good. Also, it makes your lips soft, so that's a nice little, little side effect. Soft unicorn lips. That'd be a weird thing to kiss. I have one more present for you, but it's... Weird. I may have messed it up a bit. Just a little bit. Just a little tiny little bit, little, little bit. It's cursed. It's cursed. I'm sorry, I meant to make something interesting, but it's cursed. Is that okay? Great. I also love curses. I tried to make it shaped like an eggplant but it doesn't really look like an eggplant. And it was supposed to do something nice, but instead it's just sort of vaguely cursy. I don't really know exactly what happens, but it's cursed. I kind of want to chop it up into little pieces. Just sort of snap. Just snap it in two. But you can just give it to someone and then they would be cursed. I don't know what kind of curse. It's... There's just something wrong with it. Something wrong with that one. Just terrible. Horrible and awful. But it does smell good. So there's that. So... What do you think? You know, I was thinking, <sighs> you're pretty cool, and if anyone doesn't realize how cool you are, then they're, you know, missing out, and I really love you, and I know that you keep dying and then responding, I mean, being born again, but I really care about you, 
And that's why I like to, to make you these things, because I like making things that are magical and great and also cursed and terrible and indescribably painful. But I'm glad that you and I get along so much. So don't feel bad if when you ask your crush if they smell beaches and they say no, because I think you're great. I actually, you know how I always try to tell you that we have a sale or a special and that, and that I never get to finish it because I'm always so happy to see you? Do you, you want to see something? Okay. Here is the all-in-one love potion, where it's basically everything I just described but in one bottle. So that means when you drink it... Your crush will no longer be worried about letting you know that they like you. And also, if you ask them if you smell like peaches, they'll say yes if they love you. And also, you will be turned into a unicorn. And also, you'll be really, 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 really comfortable with your unicorn body. And of course, you'll also be slightly to moderately cursed. It's sort of impossible to tell the dosage isn't exactly great and I just thought you might like it and I know it's a sale and a special but you can just take it it's not like I need the money so do you do you want it? you know that's probably a good idea you probably should just take them separately I, 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 I'll just sell this to people and watch their lives fall apart, but for you, you can pick what you want instead of this horrible, horrible cocktail. So, yeah. Curses. Curse, it's, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. No, surely. Anyway, um, so I was thinking before you go, I could do a little fortune telling because I don't just make this stuff I also do this stuff so what do you think? okay so if you'll just direct your gaze this way I will tell your future okay? okay Just a quick reading for you, okay? Okay. So let's look a little closer. Mm. I see. I see something right here. Do you see that? Right. I think that's a good sign. Right there. A smile. Your smile. That's really good. It seems to me. What else do we have? Oh, right here. It's a bit blurry, but you're with someone. I can't tell who they are, but they both look really happy. So, yeah. And, oh, right here. I do see some sadness. I guess maybe there might be a wrong choice before there's a right choice. Hmm. And then, oh, right here at the bottom. I don't know if you can tell, but what I see. future with that other person, the one who was over here. Yeah. Exactly, exactly here. Do you see it? Right there. That's you. And then, to 
together. I can't tell if you're friends or if it's romance or what, but you look happy. So, there's that. And then right here, right at the top, I see you looking comfortable and confident. So, I think that's a pretty good reading. Hopefully the things that I'm giving you today, hopefully they'll help, you know? Okay. <sighs> that turned out pretty great, I think. And so, it was nice seeing you again. You know, I, it's, it's cool that it's only been like three years instead of like a billion because I get told that I left people undead a lot. Yeah, getting left undead is like when someone takes so long to reply to you that you die. Possibly more than once. So, you didn't die yet. So, that's pretty cool. Okay, for some sort of reason that I can't think of, you have to leave now. So. Um, I'm gonna hug you, and then I guess I'll see you in whatever time. Hopefully you don't die. Good luck on the love stuff. Yeah.